How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Constantine and today I'm going to be going over the TTM squeeze indicator, what it means, how to set it up, how to use it, and go over some examples. So let's get started. I just logged in into my Thinkorswim platform by TDM AirTrade and I have chart opened of NVAX, Novavax. Novavax is a um, vaccine company that's been focused on creating a vaccine for COVID-19. It's been all over the news, so we can use this as an example and go over the TTM squeeze indicator, right? So to add the TTM squeeze indicator, um, click on edit studies, type in TTM, double click on TTM squeeze, and hit apply. You'll see here that the TTM squeeze indicator is added to the charts. So we have two different things going on here. We have the red and green dots, and then we have the four different colors of the histogram that's plotted on the momentum scale, right? We have the zero line, and then we have positive momentum and negative momentum. Red dots indicate compressed volatility, which cannot be sustained for long periods of time. You can think of this as energy being built up in the stock and it's only a matter of time before the price of the stock moves up or down in a significant way. The longer the stock is in a squeeze, the bigger the move will be. The first green dot after a series of red dots indicate a buy or a sell signal based on the momentum of the histogram. Positive momentum is plotted above the zero line in cyan and blue colored bars. Cyan bars mean strong and growing positive momentum. Blue bars are positive momentum that is losing its strength. This is a signal to get out of your trade. Red bars are strong downward momentum. Yellow bars are weakening downward pressure of the stock. If you're short, this would be a signal to close your position. Let's take a look at Novavax and Vax chart and see how all of this uh, is put together. So here we have strong momentum to the upside, price moves up, the momentum is fading, and it goes into a squeeze, so price action is consolidating, a lot of sideways action. Uh, the red dots here represent the squeeze, the squeeze fires to the upside, uh, the momentum is going up, we have a strong price move up then the momentum starts to fade and this is when you get a lot of this choppy sideways action over here momentum turns negative which makes the price drop the momentum starts to fade and the price action starts to get choppy and turns into sideways action then we go into another squeeze which fires to the downside so we have a move down, followed by the momentum reversing. That goes into a squeeze, which fires to the upside. Right. So here's the squeeze and the price that moves up. This then follows the same pattern. The momentum slows down. Price action starts to go sideways. We go into a squeeze and the momentum starts building up and it fires to the upside. So out of four of these squeezes that we have here in the chart, I only took one of these trades and I liked this squeeze the most um, because the squeeze was on for about two months. Um, I like seeing a lot of these red dots. It makes me feel comfortable about the strength of the move that will come, um, which is why this is the only trade I took. I entered the position right around here when I saw uh, the momentum building up and a week later I got out right about here for a 70% gain um, I did not hold on to see where the top is I was happy with those gains and those are the types of trades that I look for and the TTM squeeze can be applied for a variety of different time frames if you're a day trader you can apply this to five minute charts one minute charts if you're a swing trader you can apply this to weekly charts, daily charts. I like using it on the daily and the weekly charts. Um, anyways, I hope you guys found this useful. In the next video, I'm going to go over how to create one of these uh, scans that displays 
stocks that are in a squeeze. So here I have mine set up to display the weekly, daily, four hour and one hour squeezes. So you can quickly glance at this and see that Nvidia is in a weekly squeeze and a daily squeeze and a one hour squeeze. So if we take a look at the chart. You can clearly see that Nvidia has been in a squeeze for you know, two months now. And this is the type of trade that I look to buy. And currently I do have a position in Nvidia. I'm looking for a, a swing to the upside. I got in around here a little early, um, but I do have confidence in this trade that it will eventually test these highs and go much higher. So I hope you guys found this video useful. Please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and I'll see you guys next time.